What is up, y'all? Welcome back to today's video where we are going to be reacting to and reviewing some more of Frieden Beyond Journey's End. Ah, Fram, I miss you. Oh, little Frieden, man. She's much older than Frieden. To the accuracy with the way that it like upheaved the two of them but didn't touch for the end was kind of crazy as well too you know he's got crazy control over that <laughs> true not being given it <laughs> oh Frame was a student of hers too Damn! You mean to tell me Frieden just had the opportunity just like that? Damn! Damn! Hey, that's kind of cold. She wants to be useful. Damn true. That's the difference, huh? Our dispositions. Oh, bro, I love when she reminisces, man. Facts. She's living by her own principles and fighting by them too. You love to see it. That's crazy though. She really had the opportunity to get something off Seti. This... This blessing far long, like far before it even existed here. And yet she just turned it straight down, eh? Damn, the animation goes so hard on that. Yeah, my guy is really just building himself like makeshift mini fortresses wherever he can, eh? Dude, this guy is just yearning for blood. <laughs> It's funny how he kind of embodies, like, Seti's principles, though. The fact that she's the one that desires battle. Mm. Fight back, in other words. Fight back, in other words. At least he listened to Denken, man. I was worried that he would go ahead and try and do some shit. Hey, who said we were bluffing, man? Right. Showing a lot more mercy there, hey? Dude, thinking sweating. <laughs> My guy is sweating out here. Okay. Go ahead, try it. She's still up above, though, man. So let's see. A flame tornado? That's crazy. <laughs> That's beautiful. Beautifully. Mm. A lot of absolutes we keep on saying, man. I thought it was fine. <laughs> mm. We'll see. I ain't saying anything, but we'll see. God damn. Not the bolts of light. What a performance from Friedan, man. Point blank is fucking wild. <laughs> At point blank is fucking wild, free. <laughs> She's like getting close. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't even locked in, man. She's just doing basic shit. She's really just doing stretches before she even gets to the weights. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> damn. Oh, damn, girl. Damn, girl. The, 
And she's inexperienced, so she's likely to fall for this bluff. She's likely to fall for the bluff too, eh? Nah, the bluff is there, man. Gotcha. <laughs> Held her up like a fucking shopping bag, bro. Just... All right. <laughs> I have it. <laughs> Fuck. Damn, you love to see it. All a bluff, bro. To strat. <laughs> yes, sir. I really loved how they said earlier, though, like, don't you know that the human body is mostly comprised of water, though? The great mage said he no one could undo her barrier. Meanwhile, <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, you think? Uh huh. You want to keep talking? <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh, let's go. Oh, dude, this goes so hard. And we pre we pretended to not know what that is. Oh, god damn, this goes so hard. Give her the water. It's to crush his morale, pretty much, eh? GG. <laughs> GG. Immediately. Are you sure, sir? <laughs> Would you like a tsunami? Dude, go, Kanye. Holy shit. Ooh. Yep. Bro, what do you think was going to happen? <laughs> Wow, seeing him get absorbed by that water was so hard, dude. Damn. Okay, well. <laughs> we going after him. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't look at me. <laughs> that sucks. What have we got to left? What have we got left to lose but bluff, eh? With fists. Ah, shit. Coats on the ground in the mud. Man's an Imperial Mage too. He's got to have combat training as well under his under his belt. And even if not, we're going to go at it savagely. Yeah, my guy, what have you been doing? <laughs> I'm sure he's kind of lonely, you know? Yeah. Damn, we're ending it like that, eh? Like, oh, sounds like you've got it rough, Nitan. Yeah, look, um, there's a lot to this, I think, that is really cool. There was something that I was meaning to kind of, like, unpack a little bit midway, but, I mean fucking forgot right this is why i need to pause dude basically like friden versus zedia right that's gonna be interesting i don't think they're gonna fight each other but she's essentially like you know zedia is like friden's master's master so i have no doubt that she holds respect for her 
But I think what you can see here is that they don't see eye to eye about magic and like what it's used. Now, I have no doubt that Friedan also learned a lot of different things from, from Framme as well too. But at the end of the day, just as Framme and Seria are their own people, Friedan is also her own person as well too. She has her own, I guess you could say like unshakable core beliefs on magic and what it's about and how it should be used and for what purpose it should be used. And it seems like e even just the, the process of learning magic for Seria, it's about using magic as a tool. It's, it's a means to an end. It's, it's, it serves to produce an outcome, right? Like I'll give you a spell, any spell that you want. I'll save you the work of going ahead and trying to do it. And I'll just give it to you. And there you go. You've got it, you know, like, there you go. Enjoy. And I think that there's like a, there's, there's definitely an appeal in that to a certain extent, but you can definitely tell that Friedan is much more about the process and the journey of getting there. Like at the end of the day, one thing that has been a common theme in this entire anime has been that it's all about the journey. And it's all about the fact that when you think about it, Fididan de defeated the Demon King along with her party, but that was just the end result. She'd hardly felt that she could pay attention to those who were around her whilst she was on her journey to defeat the Demon King. Now, what I mean by that is naturally, she did pay attention to them, she remembers things, but it's rather that that journey just had a purpose to defeat the Demon King. You know, it's just something that she was going to do, that, that that's what they were focusing on, and this is just one way of reading into it. But whereas Frieden, especially now, even as we've been able to see throughout the rest of the anime, with her story, her purpose is to pay more attention to her comrades, to pay more attention to getting to know more about those that she's been with in the past in order to make sure that she values those relationships that she still has now, that she's still able to make now in the present and in the future as well too. And I love that immediately like Sedia looked at her and she said, she's strong. I like her. Like it was just about power and like Friedan's aptitude for power that Sedia based her initial judgment of Friedan off. But the moment that Friedan opened her mouth and simply just said, I don't need it. It's like immediately they became incompatible. You know, she didn't need to hear anything else. The moment that she was like, oh, so you're so arrogant that you don't want to take my help or something like that, right? Like, you don't want to take my help. You don't want to take my, you don't want to utilize my resources, my knowledge and all of that type of stuff. Well, so be it. You're no good. You're not worth the time. You're not a strong mage or something like that. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. Love and appreciate you. And I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.